my Sopatrophobia. Go to any mirror, anywhere, it doesn't matter. Be sure to bring along a sword, not a pocket knife, not a dagger, not a halberd, especially not a gun, a sword. Stand just far enough back from the mirror to hold the sword straight out, with the tip touching the glass. In this position, look your reflection in the eye and say with all the boldness you have, I'm not afraid any more. If your reflection is still, you're lucky. You've been marked for death. It'll find you somehow. Demons have their ways. However, if your reflection replies with, I'll be the judge of that, then your unholy quest as a seeker is destined to continue. At this point, you have two choices. You can either say to your reflection, I must hone my skills. In which case, it will bow to you and allow you to leave so that you can train to use the sword in your hand. Or you can say, So be it. If you chose the second one, every light bulb illuminating the room will shatter. But the room in the mirror will still be the same. The lights in the mirror, however, will begin to dim. You must jump into the mirror before it goes completely dark, or your reflection will leap forward and slaughter you in the most painful way possible, banishing you to the darkest corners of hell. If you make it, the room will be dark, save for a soft light emanating from the floor. Music will begin to play. Any track your reflection chooses to accentuate the coming battle, usually some foul piece of death metal so dark and foreboding that its rhythm alone may drive you mad. Hope that it's a track you like, because you'll need all the help you can get in this battle. Your reflection has had much more time to hone its skills than you have, being trapped in the same room since you were born. As quick as you can, after the music starts. But no sooner. Leap to your feet and prepare for the battle. Make no mistake. Your reflection is more powerful and skilled than you could ever hope to be. But fight anyway. Fight with all your heart. Put your very soul into every swing. And most of all, remember that if the light from the floor dims, your reflection is becoming stronger. If your reflection defeats you, kneel and say that you are unworthy. If you are a compassionate person, your reflection will show you mercy and you will be back where you were when you first learned of the holders. Having forgotten all about your quest and all the items you gathered will be back where they were before you reached them. However, if you defeat your reflection, it will kneel, drop its sword and order you to finish it off. Do not obey it, for if you do, you will die with it. Instead, ask it one question and only one question. As a seeker, what is my power over you? Your reflection will get up and grab its sword. Do not attack. If you stand perfectly still, it will thrust the sword into the ground and hug you. The hug will feel like the crawling and biting of a thousand insects. But do not pull away. It will then kiss your forehead and disappear, leaving you with a whisper of, Good luck, my liege. You will then be back in the room with the mirror, and the lights will be back to normal. If you look at your reflection, it will smile warmly at you, no matter what expression you wear. 
and if you give anybody's reflection an order, they will obey. Reflections will also speak to you, becoming your closest friends. You will notice there is a tattoo on your forehead. It is different for every seeker, depending on their personality and how well their duel went. That tattoo is Object 479 of 538. May its authority serve you well.